into strong topics. We are on episode nine, and this strong topics is getting to know Kylie. So you're gonna have a little bit more of an inside scoop on Kylie and her background on fitness and more getting to know her in more of a serious way. So, Kylie, mm -hmm. why did you pick personal training as your career? Uh, honestly, just the most of uh, my family members seeing their health issues and what they were going through just kind of made me want to dig in more to see how I could help them out and like learn about myself a little bit more. Okay. How much do you believe that your mental state dictates your fitness habits? Uh, a, a lot. It, it was a big thing. I, fitness taught me me mental. <laughs> really? That. Yeah. Would fitness. you like to elaborate? Well, it's just uh, basically like holding myself accountable and just making sure that I'm there in my workouts, fully there. Like that wasn't a thing before I started getting serious with what I was doing and what I was learning about. If it makes a big difference? If so, how? I mean, yeah, it makes a difference because like how else would you build that body and mind connection? Uh, like for me, working with the still maze, the tension and being able to carry tension through my whole body and move each muscle, you know, you know, isolated or together, it, it just, it makes a difference. Okay. So we've talked previously about your fitness journey and there was a time when you had put on a significant amount of weight. Mm -hmm. And I want to know how that weight gain affected you. Um, that weight gain, it was hard because at the same time, I was going through like a, a big growing phase for myself. Basically like I moved out of the house and it was like freedom and took everything a little too far. So before I was out going, I gained the weight. I kind of went back into the closet, pushed my self-esteem down and it was just really hard to get myself back up from there. A lot, like it was really hard. Do you think it helps you relate to clients because... Oh, definitely, definitely. I know, I, I, I can understand about the battle that you go through every day where you're just like, oh, I don't want to do this, or like, I'm too heavy to do this, or there's no way I'll ever be able to do that. That was a, a thing in my mind constantly, constantly. Really? Yeah, constantly. I would like, the way I challenged myself was like, you're never going to do that, and then I'll go do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely that type of person where like, if you tell me I'm not going to do it, or if I tell myself, because nobody's going to be harder on myself than me, I'll definitely get it done. So after you lost the weight, how did that affect you? How did you feel after? I felt like me. If, if it, like, I felt like me. I felt like me again. Like, I felt like it was okay to laugh. It was okay to dance. It was okay to just, I don't know, just be me. Embrace be myself. Yeah, embrace myself. Why do you love fitness? I just like feeling like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you think the experience, that experience allows you to relate more to clients? And obviously, you know, you just kind of covered on that, but on a deeper level, that's something that, you know, I, I can't really speak on, I don't have that experience, so have you worked with people or have you shared your story and it made a big impact because, did you become more relatable because of it? Yeah, I think so. Um, a lot of it, I mean, I didn't know I was until like I had those conversations with those people and like they would come back to me and say, oh hey, what you said really like helped me. Whether it was like the mental part of it, which I, I believe a mental part of it is a really like a big part of it just because I fought depression, fought, you know, gain weight, fought addiction and everybody has some kind of story like that that they can relate to. So I feel like I have like different avenues to where like I can influence you a little bit in some way. What does beautiful strength mean to you? It's like my favorite question yeah, to ask yeah, people. Yeah, it's good. I, was like, I love the name a lot. And I think, especially for females, I, I really want them to find strength beautiful and like what it can do to their body. And just how, how good you can feel just like lifting weights and just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's, that's one thing I've never been able to explain how like strength training makes me feel. Because I just, I just rather show you. <laughs> I would sh I, she wants to show you how much of a beast she is with the mace. <laughs> what do you want our beautiful strength viewers to know about you? Uh, she did not know these questions either before we started. Just so want you guys to know that I plan on kicking everybody's butt, but in my way, which is the goofy 
lovable way, I guess. <laughs> but no, I'm looking forward to like meeting new people and teaching you guys what the mace can do for you, the total body and everything. I just want everybody to feel like a like a beast, <laughs> a beautiful beast. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, well, thank you for letting me interview you for Strong Topics. Thank you. Getting to know Kylie. <laughs>